So, as a fan of the game, I'm glad to see that the rest of my tribe isn't pay- playing this game passively and just kind of rolling over and letting things happen. They actively had a plan going in there. They kept it from me. And they're playing hard, and I'm glad they're playing it hard. I think it makes for a great game, really interesting, lots of fun. And I'm glad that there are players out there. And, you know, I would have loved to be playing this game straight to the end, and I was going to do whatever I needed to do. And um, it's unfortunate that I got voted out, but I have absolutely no regret. You know, one thing people, I've always heard people say is, you know, I wouldn't change a thing once I, I got voted off. Uh, fact of the matter is you lost. You should change something because your plan didn't work out. So you should change something. But honestly, I, there was nothing that I thought I did wrong. What I should have done, I suppose, is, is made sure Gary and Amy were more in on that plan. You know, I should have been on top of them a little bit more and maybe scoping out, you know, feeling for any, any other vibes. That's what I should have done differently. But I felt so confident, I didn't even know that was necessary at that point. So that was my biggest mistake, um, thinking that my really complicated scheming plan would go over as easily and simply as I thought it would. Coming into the game, I knew better than to try to come in with some kind of concrete strategy because this game is so unpredictable, you have no idea how it's going to start, what's going to happen. So I knew that I wouldn't have a real solid strategy until I saw who I was playing with, where they're from, what they're like, things like that. I did start with some generalizations. Find the maternal woman and kind of act like a son to her. Find the alpha male and really boost up his ego. Find the young women and be a good listener to them. Find the young men and be really cocky around them and kind of soup it up like we're so cool. So things like that. Um, So the general personalities would be the way to kind of look to see who's what. But... My strategy, no matter what, was going to be be a chameleon. Show different parts of your personality to different people. None of the, I wasn't lying to anybody about things that I told them about myself. I was just telling different things to different people depending on what they liked. So when I was with Danny, I was especially upright and moral and non-drinker. And when I was with Bobby John, I was very hardworking and very, you know, my work ethic was what I showed to Bobby John. Someone like Amy, I was a fast talker because she's from Boston, just the Northeast like I am. With someone like Brandon, I was very slow and kind of not intimidating because I, I can be very loud and quick and Brandon's a farm boy someone like Gary I kind of toned down the sarcasm a bit so just different things to different people so that they would all like me and I do think that everybody did like me I mean the compliments of travel council I do believe were pretty genuine and I appreciate that I liked I liked them as well um as competitors though I was willing to do what I needed to do to beat them but they were all good people I didn't have problem with anybody out there Amy kind of got on my nerves a lot and was annoying um so I I prefer not to have to deal with Amy quite as much, but I think she's still a very good person. She does very noble work. I just didn't really mesh as well with Amy as with maybe some of the other people. I'm extremely disappointed that I didn't at least even make the jury. You know, I honestly believed I was going to win this game. I think one of the biggest things that threw my game off was the tribal swap. When I ended up in the minority in my tribe, there were four former Naku members and three former Yashaw members. And that was a huge, huge obstacle to overcome. The fact that I got Blake voted off before one of the Yashaw members is really big, and I'm really proud of that because that was really an uphill battle, and I really fought hard to get you know, ourselves at least out of the minority. So I'm really, really disappointed that I didn't win, but I know that I played that game very hard every single minute I was out there. I didn't want Lydia voted off, so I worked to get Morgan voted off. I pointed out how weak Brianna was to get Brianna voted off. I worked very, very hard in all the challenges. I did great work around camp. And the fact that I got Blake off was a huge strategic maneuver. And, you know, trying to get Bobby John voted off was also a strategic maneuver that unfortunately didn't pan out. But I played it hard. I, I can't say that I can look back and say, damn it, I wish I did some I wish I'd played harder. Because I played so hard and I had an amazing experience. I was never tired, never hungry, didn't complain about the bugs or the rain, because you know what? This is such an amazing, amazing opportunity that I've wanted for so long. And the fact that I even got just a little taste of it is so amazing. And I'm just so fortunate and blessed that nothing was going to get me down in this game. Not the people, not the weather, not the animals, nothing. So I had just such an amazing time. How could I be disappointed, really, in anything? Um, The million dollars would have been a perk. I really wanted the win. 
So I didn't get the win, but I had an absolutely amazing time, and I played very, very hard while I was out there. It was so surreal to have my torch put out. When I saw those four votes for me, I didn't even expect more than one vote. So as I saw the second vote, I kind of knew something was up. And my honest-to-God reaction was kind of tranquil, at peace. I was like, oh, wow, they got me. Good for them. You know, I wasn't bitter. I wasn't angry. I wasn't confused. I wasn't mad. I mean, I wasn't any of that. I was like, they totally got me. Good for them. So when he, the vote was read and I knew that I was out, I got up and I shook everybody's hand. Because, you know what, one, you can do whatever you want in this game. You can lie, cheat, steal, that's fine. But once you're done with that game, that all needs to stop. You need to be a good sport again. So when they beat me, I got up and I shook every single one of their hands because they did a great job, they're playing the game hard, and be a good sport about it. If you want to win, you have to also be willing to be a good loser as well. And I gave Danny a great big hug and a kiss, took my torch, Jeff put it out, and I watched him put it out, and I actually think I said thank you, just because I'm so used to manners. I, he put my torch out, and I was like, thank you. I'm telling you, I should have won this game. I played this game so hard for every second I was in it. You know, my mos I had a mosquito strategy. Cover yourself up, stay near the people who the mosquito seems to like more. Maybe they taste better. I don't know. But I had a strategy for everything, and I really feel that I could have won had I not been dealt the had not gotten the short end of the stick with that tribal mix-up. It's so, it's so silly to me because I got that a lot in middle school because people are so quick to associate lack of ma masculinity with homosexuality. And I'm not the man out there who's puffing up his chest talking about hunting and shooting buck and drinking beers. Like, I'm not like that. I come from a very well-mannered background. My family was big into taking us to theater, reading books, um, you know, museums. I went to an Ivy League school, very well-mannered, very well-dressed. I'm very New England. So all that people associate with homosexuality, well, they're, I'm missing the very vital part about liking men. I just don't like men. So I'm not gay. And for people to keep pushing that issue, it's just kind of like lame on their part. It's like... It's like asking me if, if my hair is really brown. I don't believe your hair is really brown. Well, yeah, it is. It is brown. And for you to keep questioning that is kind of sad on your part that you can't just take what I tell you as truth. So Amy in particular kept pushing the issue. And I was just like, look, get over it. It's more of a concern for you than it is for me. I know I'm straight. Everybody I know knows I'm straight. Anyone I'm going to date knows I'm straight. Like, why are you so caught up on it? It's, it's weird. Leave it alone.